Now for an update on the fixed income and FX markets, ahead of the NPC announcement tomorrow, I'm joined in the studios by Adebayo Adeyemo, the country treasurer, our market head at City Nigeria. Bayo, thank you very much for joining us. So Hi, I think Wally. three things to, to take note of over the last two months. So these are the things I imagine the NPC will be talking about now. So we have lower yields in the fixed income market. We have a stronger Naira. But then again, we still have this issue around liquidity in the interbank market, which of course the NPC is supposed to to direct in terms of how we do they mop up that liquidity. But let's start, first of all, from your take about the Naira and what needs to change, if anything at all, in terms of their strategy around the Naira. Because like I mentioned, it's stable at this point. Well, um, regarding the Naira, I think um, Central Bank has uh, done uh, uh, very well um, in, in keeping it stable thus far. Um, if you compared um, previous MPC to where we are today, Naira has strengthened by a whole naira. Um, yeah. uh, so, I mean, today they closed at about um, uh, 162.15, um, and it's traded between a 50 cover band in the past week. So, relatively stable, which is where they want it to be. Um, I, I think uh, they've had to intervene, in fact, they've not had to intervene at all uh, in, uh, in the past uh, couple of weeks. Because we've seen those flows from the oil majors, right? Well, yes, and um, also uh, we, from time to time, begin, I mean, we see occasional flows from offshore also supporting uh, 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 the currency. Uh, right. We must remember that uh, the, I mean, the, the global markets are still supportive of uh, uh, EM um, uh, for now. Um, so really, I, I think um, I think for for the currency, most of what needs to be done is on the fiscal side. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we seem to be seeing some semblance of discipline there. Mm -hmm. So the reserves are starting to tick up. Uh, it's at things about 38.4 billion now, which is uh, a, a billion up. Uh, I mean, if you compare that to uh, uh, two months ago, uh, so there's, there's some. There's some uh, progress there gradually. Right, so no need to touch anything around that, really. I, I, I don't... I don't a good I, I place mean, for the Naira. Okay, but this liquidity thing continues to be a recurring discussion around the, the bank market. And how will you describe how that has changed over the last two months? Would you say that the liquidity problem has become less or more over the last two months, uh, given the, what the MPC have to deal with right now? Well, uh, I, I think it's, 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 it's gotten better. Uh, I think, I mean, uh, from the majorities, the Omo majorities, I think uh, they've taken care of most of the larger majorities. We still have some majorities, but uh, I, I, I don't see it as something that um, they wouldn't be able to handle, given what they have handled in the past already. Uh, so if you ask me, I, I, I think the liquidity situation uh, isn't as bad. The, I mean, the right. glut. Uh, of liquidity isn't as bad as uh, we had. We had. Yeah. Uh, so historically, everything looks better. In fact, it's probably easier for them to deal with. But then, looking forward, though, what are the big challenges coming up that you think may be uh, may be directing what they dis uh, decide on today? Well, I I reckon they have their eyes on inflation, uh, and so they won't. That has been moving up. Yes, it's been ticking up slowly. Still well within their six to nine percent band, but sure. again, um, I'm sure they would not. Um, relax at this point, uh, especially as we approach elections and you know uh, concerns around pre-election spending and all of that. Right. So uh, I'm sure it's something um, the, that they will talk about, and um, that that certainly would uh, be, uh, be be a key factor in determining what they will do uh, tomorrow. Right. I think another point that may be interesting, which I just picked up, was maturities of AMCON bonds. Now, that was a discussion we had late last year uh, when, when everybody talked about this trillionaire um, maturity, etc. We've moved past that and actually it was, was pretty easy in terms of how they handled it. Do you think this could be a challenge in, this, in the next few months? Well, again, another, I mean, another big point scored by the central bank. Uh, we had all these concerns about how, how they would manage the huge maturities coming from AMCON, but uh, they, uh, they, they, they did it very well. I mean, uh, with a combination of um, uh, T-bill swaps and cash, I mean, yeah. I think they were able to manage that very well. So again, I don't see 
uh, this uh, next month's maturity being such a big concern right. uh, that that um, that they wouldn't be able to manage. Well, it seems everything is easy this time, and probably the easiest one to call in a while. We'll see if it plays out as we many people have suggested. Thank you very much. Adibai Adeyemo is the country treasurer, a market head at City Nigeria, giving us an update on the fixed income market and a few points to think about as we head into that big MPC decis decision tomorrow.